Smart Solar. They are so nice and just helpful. And so we're kind of waiting for our panels to come out and then they're going to help us load them into the back. Look at that. It's huge. Oh my gosh. That's just huge. So is the other one. What? So is our other ones. It looks huger than the ones we have. Oh, excuse me. Ten watts more. That is pretty big. The ones we have are are that big? I don't think so. Well, I guess they kind of are. We've landed the drone on them. This is going to be fun. <laughs> watt wind turbine going right along all right here we have top of the rig here see what we have left for panels we have four of the 315 watt solar world panels you can also see where the energy panels were, those all died, and we're, uh, actually they did a recall, Renergy did, and they, uh, we got a nice re refund for that, so, good on you, Renergy. Okay, and we'll go down to the ground. Down here on the ground we have two Solar World 325 watt panels on tilting frames that I made out of uh, speed rail and a uh, tilting kit that I bought on Amazon called from Rural Power looks pretty good and of course all going into the rig right here alright and now we'll go see see that going round and round she goes and now we put an end to all that horrible meter spinning just like this yeah now This is our battery voltage right now. This is the battery temperature right here. And this is how many amps the solar cells are pulling in right now. Or three of them actually are pulling in right now. And three of them hooked to this controller. Here's the other controller. Same thing. TriStar MPPT60. And the two ground panels and one of the roof panels is attached to this. Pulling 27.5 amps. There's your battery right there. Okay, darling, hit the air conditioner. Air conditioner's on. As you can see, we're drawing off the batteries. Air conditioners take a lot of power, so to do this off of solar is doing pretty good. Usually hangs about 24.8 to 25 with one air conditioner running. So there's that. This is the Gray Inverters remote control here. This is the brake switch for the wind turbine. Of 
Now, all the hardware you just saw inside there, all the controllers and whatnot, then go down to here. This is the, the passenger side battery bank. We have the voltage sense wires and the temperature, battery temperature sensor for the Morning Star controllers. Here we have what runs the coach 12 volt systems. It's a 60 amp converter. Okay, there's that. Here is the driver's side battery bank, same thing. This is where everything comes together. This is the center of the electrical system, so to speak. There's the feeds into the two inverters here. We have the main inverter charger right here. And then here's the backup inverter. This one's a 5,000 watt GFI. This one's a 6,000 watt split phase. And then my newest goodie is this. This is my grid tie inverter. start flashing faster and faster all right now let's see what we're doing hopefully we can see that that is now spinning right to left not left to right so we are running the meter backwards currently That's the direction we'd like to see it go. So, that's my newest goodie.